And I'm Julie Mazacek, and I'm the president of the Washburn University Foundation. And I had the great fortune of working with the Phi Delta Theta alumni to help make this a reality. And I have so much enjoyed being able to do that, and so has our team. This is an eventful day. This is a day that you will remember for a long time. And those members that are currently uh, students on campus, just think, 30, 40, 50 years from now, you'll probably be out here at some point, just the way some of our, and your, your predecessors, some of my alumni are here today. It had been talked for years among alumni and the undergraduates of completely renovating the Kansas Beta chapter of Phi Delta Theta. And this last week, it finally became a reality marking an historical moment for the Phi Delta Theta chapter at Washburn University and for the Greek community as well. To celebrate the completion of renovations to the Phi Delta Theta House, a ribbon cutting ceremony was held last Friday where individuals could tour the newly renovated facility following the ceremony. The completed renovations were made possible with a nearly two million fundraising campaign completed last spring with the support of a lead gift from the late Ronald Ritchie of Shoal Creek, Alabama and numerous other Phi Delta Theta alumni. Phi Delta Theta alumni John Fager said the house is a lot different since when he lived there from 1992 to 1997. Uh, I really like that they kept the first floor and the living room and the uh, dining room and the entrance uh, very true to the character of the house as it's always been. Fager said he thinks it's a great renovation. Everything needs an update and uh, Kansas Beta was in, in desperate need of an update. Uh, to accommodate the needs of the future students and, and uh, here at Washington University. Fager and his brother-in-law, Jeff Heiston, donated money to a room that they both had stayed in nicknamed the Lion's Den. Uh, he before me, he was uh, three or four years older than I was, so uh, we, we did that and we're, we're, we're proud to have our names on it. Fager said that every room had its own name and its own personality. Well, I don't know personally how the rooms got the names. They were just, you, that was just what they were designated at when you go through room pay mm -hmm. at the beginning of the year. Uh, and go in bond number order and the one with lowest bond got the, got the, got the first pick and uh, uh, you just shout out which one you wanted. Current Phi Delta Theta member Lucas Mullen said the idea for renovations has been around for many years. When I first came as a pledge four years ago, they were talking at least. Uh, the past 20 years, there's been some rough drafts and stuff like that. For the past four years, it's a freshman. That's when they really picked up the ball and ran with it. Um, we had a lot of new people on our housing board. So about four years ago, um, they really sat down and made a plan. We met with the university. And because uh, we ended up having to get out of our house, there was no way we would be able to be here because uh, it wasn't up to code. And so we had to do something. Mullen said they ended up having to move out of the house because there was no way they could live there because the house was not up to the safety code. So the housing board uh, met with Washburn. Uh, they worked out I mean, tons and tons of details, tons of red tape as you can imagine. Um, and, you know, three years later we're in a brand new place, so it's pretty awesome. Mullen said the only thing he is mad about is that he can't live inside the facility. Um, you know, I'm graduating in May, but I did get to see the old house, you know, and that was kind of sweet to be able to see the old house and see what it is now. And uh, we're real excited for, you know, our current members and plus recruitment-wise. I mean, you walk in here, I mean, it's amazing. I mean, this is an amazing place to live. Um, the rooms are nice. It's, it's right on campus. Parking's fantastic. Um, I think it's, you know, it's beautiful. He Mullen said that before they could only use two levels, and now they have the basement, first level, second level, and third. Double their size, and plus, if you look around, everything's pretty freaking awesome. So, uh, of course, I'm excited. I think it's going to be a great place for us to, you know, live, play, have fun, you know, and make some good memories. Reporting for the Washburn Review, I'm Brian Dooley.